This edition of Mac Voices is sponsored by Molecule, the reinvented air purifier. For $75 off your first order, visit Molecule.com and use the promo code MACVOICES at checkout. Welcome to Mac Voices. This is the talk of the Apple community, and I'm Chuck Joyner. Folks, there's been a little news in the storage area um, of, of the 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 computing space. Um, I'm kind of excited about it to learn a little more about it because it involves one of my favorite products. Um, so joining us this time, first up is Mahir Shah, the CEO of Drobo. Mahir, welcome. It's great to have you back. Chuck, it is always a pleasure to be back. And I love looking into your camera and to the left, seeing a little Drobo behind you. Well, <laughs> if I turn the camera around Mahir, you would see a lot more Drobos. <laughs> <laughs> also with us is Gary Watson, the CTO of Nexan. Gary, welcome. This is your first time on the show, and we caught you without a camera. Yeah, sorry about that. I didn't know there was cameras. I would have brought a camera. But uh, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you for the invitation. Um, yeah, I'm one of the founders of Nexan. We started about 20 years ago making storage, and and uh, it's great to be linked up with Drobo like this. Well, I'm really excited because, of course, the the news is that. The two companies have come to g together um, in some fashion. I'll let you explain how to form something called Store Centric, um, which will be, I guess, an identity going forward. But um, what will this mean to to each of you first uh, in your respective positions? Mahir? Yeah, and, and so Store Centric for um, you know our customers out there as well as Nexans customers, you know, for 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 lack of you know, a better word is just just a holding company, right? And I I I uh, like to uh, make it um, akin to what Google has done by creating Alphabet, and then they have their kind of brands underneath, right? Both brands will continue to uh, operate with their respective customers and their teams separately. And um, I've asked. Um, you know, Gary to step in as a CTO of the whole company. So he'll have his hand on both the Drobo products as well as the uh, uh, Nexan products. And um, I'll be running the, um, you know, the whole company as well, which is uh, store centric. So Gary, talk a little bit about your position with, uh, with Nexan and now with store centric. So my background is engineering, and uh, I've been the CTO of Nexan basically its whole 19-plus years of life. Uh, I'm looking forward to becoming the CTO of the whole organization, and I'll be working on the vision of how we're going to integrate the – Drobo story with the Nexan story. These they'll sit mostly adjacent to each other, but we have a lot of common customers. Like if you go to a NASA facility, you see a bunch of Nexan maybe in their data center, and you'll see Drobos on desktops. We want to make that experience better, and we have a lot of ideas for how to do that. Ways to make it uh, business-wise easier to deal with both companies. Uh, how to deal with us as one company for support, um, how to integrate the technologies from a management perspective. So we have a lot of things like that we're, uh, we're working on, and stay tuned. So from my perspective, um, this, this is really interesting. I'm very familiar with Drobo as a consumer, prosumer kind of solution that you know is always trying to push the envelope. Nexan I'm not as familiar with just by the very nature of the fact that I don't do IT professionally. So the idea of, of both companies continuing to exist as they are, but also trying to borrow the best of each, each world is, is exciting because it, it speaks to the, the probability of a lot of new products. Yeah, I mean, and in, in, in quite frankly, you know, when, when we took a look uh, as a team, you know, uh, last year, you know, what was our best avenue of growth? Uh, you know, the consumer and prosumer space is, you know, relatively, um, uh, you know, competitive. And as we think about how, how do we increase our total addressable market, it was a, a natural uh, migration towards uh, moving a little bit up market, right? And so from a business standpoint, how that helps us out is it gets us into customers where it, there's, uh, you know, a level of stickiness, but then it's also um, higher margin type um, uh, products that are that you know that are out there, uh, you know the thing that really excited me about this deal and and Chuck I've told you this before, is uh, the uh, Drobo employee and or or team base over here has been with Drobo an average of seven or eight years plus 
which is um, you know pretty long tenure for a company in Silicon Valley, uh, and uh, it's um, you know for a company that's only been around ten years. We found similar types of uh, employee engagement on the Nexan side. Uh, you know, people have been Nexan veterans for a very long time, and so for the first time, we've combined these two companies that have a very loyal uh, uh, team base, but also a very loyal customer base. And so we are really, really excited about this combination. So, Gary, for for the Nexan users out there, they don't have to be worried about Nexan going away or any of the products going away or a change in support. Is that a correct statement? That's right. In fact, I th- I think we're going to have a stronger team going forward. We have uh, you know better capitalization, which Mahir can talk about. We have. Uh, strong engineering side from Drobo. We've already identified a long list of cross-pollinization activities between the development and manufacturing teams that we're going to be working through in the coming weeks and months. Uh, And we have a lot of customers, like let's take a NASA type customer, not to pick on them specifically, but they'll have like hundreds and hundreds of terabytes at a facility of Nexan storage, maybe petabytes. And but you'll also see a variety of desktop and small work group enclosures in their their area. It'll make their life a lot easier if they can have one representative to deal with from a sales side, from a support side, um, purchasing side to get all that infrastructure in and manage professionally. And as we roll out some of the integration touches between them, it'll just make the overall solution better. I think it's sort of a hub and spoke model if you want to think of it that way. And Mahir, I'll ask the same question of you. Uh, and as, as a Drobo customer and as representing Drobo customers out there, what will this change for us? Anything other than maybe new models and, uh, and enhanced capabilities potentially? Yeah, no, nothing. You know, I mean, one of the things that we're actually thinking about is, um, uh, you know, how can we leverage uh, some of the strengths of each other's organizations uh, to bring some you know, functionality that, uh, you know, the Drobo can't handle. And I'll, and I'll give you an example. A lot of our customers have asked for 10 gig ports and, um, and uh, um, uh, you know, uh, optical ports and those types of things, which Drobo has never invested in. And so this really gives us an opportunity to upsell and cross-sell the Nexan products for those, the, you know, those requirements. Um, we were talking to a particular partner uh, a couple of days ago and um, they were absolutely excited because before, uh, Drobo would be left out of deals because we didn't have a full product portfolio, and Nexan would be left out of deals because they didn't have lower end products like Drobo. Now we can go out to large customers and say, hey, not only do we have edge storage devices, but we also have storage devices uh, that can be put in your data center. Very good, very good. So this is as much a strategic play and a sales play as a technology play. Yep. What kind of timetable is there for the implementation of this, or has since the deal has just been announced, is it already in in, in progress? Yeah. Well, if you ask my investors, it was yesterday. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I, I always like to say, I uh, you know, the easiest day was yesterday. But uh, you know, look, we're gonna we're gonna work hard to get. Uh, a lot of the integration stuff done here over the next three to six months. Uh, you know, the strategy also going forward is to um, uh, acquire uh, additional companies as well that we can stick through our sales channels. But one of the things that both companies had is they had a very good, robust, and performing uh, uh, sales channel. And um, what I mean by channel, these are bar partners and distributors. And uh, the thinking here is what other products can we th- uh, stick through that channel and uh, we're you know we're excited to uh, put uh, put more companies under our umbrella this edition of Mac voices is sponsored by molecule the reinvention of the air purifier whether you're suffering from pollen smoke pet dander or some other air pollutant molecule can help molecule doesn't just trap or filter the pollutants in the air in your home or office it destroys them at a molecular level molecule is something new not just a rehash of old technology The HEPA filter you thought was state-of-the-art is actually around 70 years old, developed during the Second World War. Molecule takes advantage of today's technology and uses photoelectrochemical oxidation nanotechnology to help eliminate mold, bacteria, viruses, and more, up to 1,000 times smaller than a HEPA filter can capture. This means that you will have cleaner air than possibly you've ever had. 
One Molecule customer said that she was able to breathe through her nose for the first time in 15 years. Since receiving my Molecule, I haven't had the issues with sleep and allergies that I usually experience at this time of year, and I was honestly expecting this to be a very rough year because of all the rain we've had in my area. Everything is growing and blossoming and throwing pollen all over the place, and I haven't noticed because of my Molecule. But who wants a piece of medical-looking equipment in their living room? Molecule has a sleek aluminum shell and blue LEDs that give it a subtle, futuristic look without calling attention to itself. The Molecule app lets you adjust the fan speeds without having to touch the unit, and also to have your filters shipped to you when you need them automatically. And unlike some air filters, changing both the pre-filter and nano-filters is a snap. I can't imagine anyone not wanting a Molecule in their home, and that's why I'm delighted to tell you that, as a Mac Voices listener, you can save $75 on your first purchase by going right now to Molecule.com. That's M-O-L-E-K-U-L-E.com and using the code MacVoices at checkout. Again, that's Molecule.com and the code MacVoices at checkout to save $75 on cleaner air for your home or office. You won't be disappointed. Thanks to Molecule for sponsoring this edition of Mac Voices. Gary, um, my my audience is going to be familiar with Drobo and, and the Beyond Raid technology and, and all the benefits of that, um, but we're probably not as familiar with Nexan. Um, are you primarily just massive storage, or are there is there secret sauce that you bring to the table um, for something like a NASA data center? Yeah, buckets and buckets of secret sauce. So we have small, medium, and large products, but we have three basic product families. We have a block storage family, which your Drobo customers will be familiar with, fiber channel, iSCSI, uh, SAS connected. Uh, we don't have anything in the USB and th Thunderbolt space, but we have just above that in your iSCSIs and, and, and SASs and fiber channels. And then we have a unified filer, which is similar in a lot of ways to, let's say, like a NetApp filer. And we also have a very powerful archiving platform for high-integrity archiving. So those are the three basic uh, platforms in Nexan. And we have deployments that scale up to today. We, our biggest is around 100 petabytes. But a typical Nexan sale is maybe 100 terabytes. That's typical, but there's quite a lot of variety. And um, really what we're going after is high-availability data center-type equipment. Um, and we've never been able to make low end, oh, low end's a wrong word, small economy sized, like the box right behind you. We've never been able to make a box like that at a competitive price, a single controller point solution. And therefore, we've had to walk away from all those opportunities. Or put it another way, when we had an opportunity that was using our big storage, they had to go somewhere else to get that stuff. And that's, we, we don't need that. We can live adjacent to each other and, and uh, make our customers overall more satisfied with the total solution. This sounds like the ideal deal, uh, the ideal combination of two companies that play in different levels and maybe have a little bit of overlap coming together to provide a better solution for all the customers, no matter what their level. So that if they're if they're at one level and moving to another, it will be with the same sales team, the same support team, pretty much the same, just the same everything. And what's amazing about Drobo is, is, I mean, we always thought at Nexan we did a great job with ease of use, but we're nothing like Drobo. Drobo like sets the world record for that kind of thing. Uh, the Beyond Raid technology you mentioned, and it's just so super easy to set up in contrast to a lot of other products in that space. And, you know, I think the Nexan development team can take some lessons from how they develop some of that stuff. And I think that's one of the areas of cross-pollinization I'm really looking forward to. And Mihir, I, I realize that there are people that maybe are hearing about Drobo for the very first time. So I'll let you do a little pitch on, on what the Beyond Raid technology is and the, the advantages of Drobo to make sure they're informed. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, you know, Beyond Raid is kind of uh, uh, famous or infamous for making storage extremely, extremely simple, right? We allow you to mix and match uh, drive brands and drive sizes in a catalyst fashion. So you don't have to, you know, screw your drive to a caddy. You can eject it just like an eight track, if you guys remember what those eight tracks used to uh, used to look like. Uh, and so it's really the unique selling proposition is massive amounts of storage uh, for prosumers um, at, a, at, a, at an affordable price that provides flexibility. So 
Rather, you having to change out all of your drives. Once one goes bad, you simply just eject the one that's been bad and, 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 and pop in a new one. So, you know, we'll continue to focus on ease of use. We'll continue to focus on um, uh, flexibility and we'll continue to focus on our customer segments where I think the, you know, the, uh, um, the next end uh, acquisition helps quite a bit is we, you know, we'll go into these customers like these um, studios like Disney and, and, and so forth. And we, you know, we'll, 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 we immediately get put out of a RFP process because we don't have a centralized uh, version uh, of a storage device that's a little bit more robust. And I think Nexan kind of fits right, you know, right in that, uh, in that peg. Gentlemen, what should I be asking you that I haven't? Because obviously you know the, the ins and outs of this. Um, are those, are, have we pretty much hit the high points or are there other key pieces that your audiences and your customers would want to know about? Yeah, look, we're you know we're 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 an extremely customer centric company, right? And that was another reason why you know the the the, the deal made sense. Both companies put customers above everything else. And there's large storage companies out there, billion dollar companies, uh, companies that are located overseas, and you know they they make great uh, you know they make great products, but they've lost that sense of um, uh, customer centricity. And our our hope is. That uh, we, we, you know, we might be smaller than those guys, but you know, we take care of the customer first. Perfect, Gary. Anything to add? Well, I would say the thing you didn't ask us about was cloud, and um, you know, because everyone always asks about that. So, uh, w one of the things we've noticed is there's been a lot of pullback from the cloud as far as storage is concerned because of the high invoices that people keep getting from cloud vendors. But even people who are rolling out a hybrid cloud world, uh, we have a play there, both at the Drobo side and the Nexan side. We've been doing some cloud integration work, and, as has the Drobo team. And you'll see more of that going forward, where we become a high-performance, low-cost edge device or a backup device for the cloud or an archiving device for the cloud uh, for people who have both worlds. And I think uh, you know we're right on top of that. But uh, nobody can beat our dollars per terabyte and our you know dollars per gigabyte per second performance. That's just uh, where we crush everybody, and I think we're going to keep doing that. It sounds good, gentlemen. Congratulations! I, I really mean it. I know it's a busy day for you. You've got a lot of people you need to talk to, and I just appreciate you spending a little time with us to to reassure customers that nothing is going to change and it's only going to get better. Yeah. Thanks, Chuck. Thanks for having us. It's always always good to connect. Always good to have you here. Gary, you're, you're welcome anytime. Uh, next time, bring a camera, and we'll let people see what you look like. I will bring a camera. Sorry about that. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Folks, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices. I'm excited about this just because you know that I'm a Drobo fan, and this just is going to make it better. And I will say it one more time. I know you're tired of hearing it, but I never get tired of saying it. I have never lost any data in a Drobo. As always, thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Mac Voices Facebook group and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard. And if you find value in it all, consider supporting us at patreon.com slash macvoices and join these folks who help keep Mac Voices coming to you. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com. 